Well, on this chilly day, there's nothing like a piping hot soup for a cold fall day, right? Chef Natasha Ford joined us this morning to talk about whipping up a butternut squash soup with cider cream. This literally sounds so perfect for today. And thank you so much for joining us, Chef Ford. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, you know, this is the fall season, as you know, Stacy, and you know, we're getting ready for all of our root vegetables or squashes, our pumpkins, and what better way to celebrate fall, as you said, with this butternut squash soup. And to me, this is also great accompaniment. You can either put this on the table for Thanksgiving or even after the day after Thanksgiving. So what I have here is leeks, and I know a lot of times people don't really consider leeks unless it's probably, um, you know, a leek soup, but they're the cousins to onions, right? And so what, all we basically do is we're going to cut it up, take off the top part because this part is really not edible, and we're going to clean this very good because it, it grows in a lot of dirt, and you don't want to have dirt in your soup. So we're going to... You know, make sure we use our bear claws. We're gonna cut our leeks up. And we're gonna get our pot nice and piping hot. We're gonna cut up all of our other vegetables. This recipe is so super simple. It has in our butternut squash. So about a two and a half pound of squash would work. You know, we have in some carrots, about a half a cup of carrot, and we have our, our celery. So we're gonna get our pot nice and hot, and those are gonna be the first things that we're gonna put into the um, recipe. We're also gonna put in some delicious Granny Smith apples. We all know it's apple picking season, so make sure you save some apples for this dish once you go apple picking. If you get to go apple picking, but make sure you you know safety first. And then we're going to add some cinnamon, some sage, some clove, a little garlic, and mm. some thyme. We're gonna boil this delicious soup, and we're gonna bring it all together. So we're getting our pot nice and hot. We're gonna add our butter. So it's about two tablespoons of butter, right? And then we're gonna melt this butter nice and good. Make sure you take all the paper off too. Sometimes <laughs> that, that's kind of important. <laughs> yeah, sometimes when you cut the butter, you might miss a little bit. And then we're gonna add our butternut squash first. And we're gonna stir this. And I also say, if you don't have butternut squash or you don't like butternut squash, you can also do this soup with pumpkin. So if, you know, you have some extra pumpkins left over from your pumpkin carb recipe, you can also do this soup with pumpkin as well. What I love okay. about butternut so squash is it just really feels like a fall soup. I mean, it smells like I'm fall, it tastes like fall, and it's just... It's perfect for a cold day, and it just really warms you it up. It is. And like you said, today it's rainy, it's cold, so we're gonna have this soup, you know, with the cold. So you want to make sure that you stir everything up really good, mix that butter in. You know, you can rev up the stove for this. You're gonna add a little salt and pepper, and you want to make sure that your celery and your leeks. And it, by the way, if you don't have leeks or you don't particularly care for leeks, you can actually um, swap it out for a half of a, a large Spanish onion. So once you go to the supermarket, you can ask them where the Spanish onions are. They usually have them labeled. You can actually do that if you don't find leeks or you don't particularly care for them. And just add a little bit of pepper. And about and how long does this, this take to cook? Bit. This, believe it or not, this soup only takes about half an hour or so. Because once the carrots get soft, the hardest thing here is the carrots. Once the carrots are soft enough and you poke them with a fork and they split, they, it's ready to go. So literally, this soup is going to take about half an hour. So we're going to put our garlic in there. I'm listening. Oh, we're just running a lot of running out of time. So I want to make sure we get everything we need in there uh, to let people know because I know everyone's going to be wanting to make this today. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you so, and I wish I was if we were in the studio so that you can have a good taste of this. So I just added my apples and I added my garlic, right? And then I'm going to just drop about a half a teaspoon of thyme in there. And I am going to make my little sachet with my clove, a cinnamon stick, and my sage. I'm going to drop it right in there. And then I am going to add my five cups of chicken broth. 
And if you don't want chicken broth because you're a vegan or vegetarian, you can swap it out once again for vegetable broth or even water. But if you use water, make sure that you steep in the water really well. Well, I know that I'm going to be looking up this recipe. And, and if people want to, they can on our website, WFMYNews2.com. Natasha, thank you so much for joining us. I know that this soup is going to be incredible. Like, I, like you said, oh, wish that you were in the studio so I could try it. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much.